Hey everybody, so this is going to be an initial setup tutorial for Bard Music Player. Uh, I'm going to walk you through everything, uh, what the requirements are, uh, where to get it, you know, how to get songs, uh, you know, setting it all up uh, in your documents so it's all, you know, set up properly for you to, you know, be able to do everything. Um, okay, so to get started, I'm going to go over the requirements. You need a level 30 Bard. Um, you have to play the main story quest up to Sylph Management, which in the couple bards I've had to level, I've gone clean past it just from being under level. Um, so that's usually not an issue, but in case you somehow come out, you know, uh, over leveled, you just have to make sure you complete up to Sylph Management, uh, which is basically the, the mission after you choose a grand company uh, for the most part. I believe anyway. Um, once you do that, you have to complete the Bard, you know, quest. The, the quest that unlocks uh, the Bard class for you. Um, and then once you do so, we're going to go over to... We're going to go to Mi, Miketo's Amphitheater. And we're going to walk over. This is in Gridania, of course, in case you don't know. We're going to walk over to Simpkin here, who has a big blue icon above him. Um, again, we just want to make sure that, you know, we completed the, you know, initial bard main story quest that gives you the bard soul crystal. Um, okay, go ahead, we're going to talk to Simpkin here. And he just talks about being a bard and playing music and stuff and all that. Um, and then we have to agree to the terms saying that we're not going to be playing third-party songs, which, of course, we're not going to be, right? Wink, wink. Um, anyway, once you do that, you confirm you unlock performance actions. This means that we can now play instruments and play music, um, which is very important, of course, if you, you know, want to play songs. All right, so once we do that, I'm just going to head off to the side here. Um, all right, so it's fantastic. Now we have performance mode. If we go over to our actions, we go to performance. Here's all of our instruments. Uh, previously, this was empty. This wasn't even here. So now we have that there. Fantastic. Um, so now I'm going to do is actually I'm gonna take a moment we're going to go you know in case you don't have bard music player already uh, we're going to go to Google we're gonna type in bard music player we're gonna hit search and this is gonna take us to the first entry here what should be the first entry here is bmp.sqnya.se if we click on that link this takes us to the bard music player site which from here we're going to download it uh, so here's all of our versions on this left side here um you're going to want the initial unless you're in some other country i think china and south korea need to use the the non-latest version um whatever ver you know whatever version of uh, xiv they're up to or 14 they're up to um they're going to download the associated bmp version uh, but we're going to download the latest version. It puts in a zip for us. We're going to go ahead and open it. Um, just off to the side here. Um, so here is our zip with FF Bard Music Player in it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is create a folder in your documents that's going to house Bard Music Player. Um, you could name it Bard Music Player. You could use it. You could name it BMP wherever you want the folder to be named, um, but ideally it'd be in your documents uh, on the same hard drive as your, you know, Final Fantasy XIV install location. Um, ideally. Um, although I think I don't think it's a requirement, but that's how it would ideally be. Anyway, you go ahead, you drag Bard Music Player over into the folder, and uh, there we go. You know, we now have Bard Music Player there. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to launch it. 
Uh, it's fine. We're just going to hit run anyway. As long as... Okay, my antivirus didn't care, so great. So this is Bard Music Player, in case you're not familiar. Um, okay. So from here... up oh, it says it's hooked, so that means it read our Final Fantasy XIV window. I'll place off to the side for the moment. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open up the harp. Oops. Alright, and... Yeah, we don't have any music yet. So you know what? Let's go ahead, take a moment to go over to the MIDI repository. These are like... Ideally perfected songs that should be able to be played no problem. Um... If you come across any that are that have any sort of issues, uh, it'd be best to bring it to the MIDI editor's attentions uh, in the Discord. But um, anyway, let's go ahead. Let's choose Mako Reactor by by the one and only Klaus Lightsbane. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna go show in folder. Here's our downloads folder. Um, let's go ahead, let's open up our Bard Music Player folder right here. So, we act, what we actually need to do is create a new folder and name it Songs. Okay, with the name Songs, we're going to go ahead, we're going to drag it and drop it into this folder named Songs. And, uh, so now... If we go ahead and we click click here to load a MIDI file, here's Klaus's Mako Reactor MIDI. We go ahead, we're gonna open it. And oh, for some reason it is not reading our character. That's interesting. Oh, alright. I made the rookie mistake of not starting it in admin mode. Alright. So very important, you have to make sure you run Bard Music Player in admin mode, otherwise it cannot read your character. So we're, so you could click right here and hit run as administrator. Um, you're going to have to do that each and every time. Well, I'm going to show you to make this a lot easier is we're going to hit properties. We're going to go to advanced, oh, no we're not going to go to advanced, I'm sorry. We're going to go to compatibility. And we're going to check this run this program as administrator box. Uh, this will automatically always run it as administrator for you. So you don't have to select that every single time. Uh, and now if we open it, here we go. All right. So this message is telling us that we have to properly set our key binds. Um, and if we're getting this, then that means it, it is indeed reading our character. It is reading our key binds that are not properly set. So we're going to fix that. Um, okay, so to do that, we're going to click the little cog wheel here. Um, all right, so as you can see, I, I play on a controller, um, which is fine. But what you have to do when you're in performance mode is you have to choose keyboard mode. You have to make sure keyboard mode is set. Um, we go up to the top here we're going to go to keyboard controls we want to click assign all notes to keyboard this will allow us to boom this is going to allow us to bind the whole keyboard and not just one octave um, okay so to get our um, our bindings again you could set any binding um, as long as you don't have to push a combination of keys to activate that note. Um, if you just make it just a simple, you know, simple key press, it should pick up on it. But just to make things, you know, easy, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go back to the Bard Music Player site. We're going to go to the manual. And where this link says assign all of the keys, we're gonna click on that. And this is gonna give us just a generic, um, you know, simple key bind to do. Um, so I'm going to put this off to the side, but I'm going to be following this key bind. So I'm going to click this, I'm going to assign a key, I'm going to assign a key, again, 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 
again, again. And all I'm doing is clicking and pushing a key on the keyboard. That's all I'm doing. you guys can enjoy the pleasant uh, Valentine's Day music that plays while I do this. Um, Alright, so we got all of our keys set. Um, so we go ahead, we hit apply. We hit close. And now, if we go back to our music player. Alright, we have our song selected. We have all of our keys set. Um, it is showing a note I'm sorry, it is showing a keyboard key on each, you know, piano key in the diagram here, which means it's picked up on all of our keys. Um, with that, we should be able just to go ahead and start playing. So I'm going to hit play. Get the idea. Here we have it. That is a cool song. Boss really did a good job on that one. I recognize that one immediately. Um, all right, so uh, there we are. Um, you're set and ready to play. Um, so uh, now, if you want to get additional songs again, you can go ahead and get these ready to go songs. If you're going to be playing by yourself, you want to make sure you choose solo songs. Um, you know, easy way to find that is if you hit Control F on your keyboard, you type in solo. Pretty much anything with a highlighted, you know, yellow solo um, will, you know, play by. You could play by yourself, no problem. Um, if you're looking for a particular song, you go ahead, you type in the song you're looking for, and uh, you know. There you go. So again, you can hit Control F to get to search. And uh, there you are. Um, another place I recommend getting songs from is from the Discord itself. If you don't know of the Discord, um, here is the BMP Discord. Um, you can go ahead. You can request songs, and uh, if a you know editor is up to the task, they can go ahead and fulfill the request. Um, you can go ahead go to MIDI releases and again if you want to look for solo songs if you're playing by yourself but you should be able to go and download any of these all right okay here they the songs can be of varying quality because these are uh, these are community related uh community released songs because of that these aren't just editors these are you know basically anyone in the community can go and post a song here so you know, some are great, some are okay. Just be prepared for that. Um, anything on the repository should be ready to go, no problem. Again, if you find any issues with these here, please bring it to an editor's attention in the Discord. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, one last thing. Uh, I believe that covers everything. Uh, if, uh, oh, you can join the Discord here. Um, if you enjoy, you know, Bard Music Player, if, you know, you, you know, if it's brought you a lot of joy, you know, you love it. Uh, if you can, um, I recommend, you know, donating to the cause. You know, the uh, programmers work very hard on, you know, continuous updates uh, and, you know, the upkeep of the program. Um, if you do so, you get this nifty color scheme for your Bard Music Player. It just, you know, it's just an accent color for it. It's nothing special, but, uh, you know, it's just a cool sort of tan, light brown uh, color scheme for your Bard Music Player. Yeah. 
Uh, this, for comparison, this is it by default. Um, you know, of course, you don't have to. Just, you know, if you feel up to it, if you'd like to, you can. Um, you also get a, you know, little, uh, in the chat here, you get a thank you for, um, your donation. Uh, if you leave your character name and your server, uh, along with your donation. Um, but, uh, yeah, with that, um, if you have any questions, please, pre uh, say so and BMP support if you have any issues. Um, I highly recommend checking the pinned messages up here. There are many, many, many solutions to common problems here. Um, if you, know, you check the pins and your problem still isn't really addressed by that, please write a message uh, in the support here. Um, we got many helpful individuals who would be more than happy to, to try to answer your questions and such. Um, with that, um, you guys take care. You have a wonderful, you know, day, evening, whatever it is. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Take care. Good night.